there's lots of different reasons that people would want to drink alcohol. Um, I think the most common is that it's it can be pleasurable. Um, people enjoy drinking in social situations, at celebrations, at commiserations. Um, it's very much a part of our culture to enjoy alcohol in a wide variety of situations. On top of that, people may choose to drink uh, as a form of self-medication. So because of the way alcohol works, um, it can provide some temporary relief for things like depression, anxiety. Um, over the long term, however, alcohol seems to make those problems worse. The current Australian recommended drinking guidelines is no more than four standard drinks on any one day and no more than 10 standard drinks throughout the week. For people who are pregnant or breastfeeding, the safest option is not to drink. And for people under the age of 18, the safest option is not to drink alcohol at all. The more water you have in the body, the more dilute that alcohol is. So your blood alcohol concentration is sort of a measure of how dilute that alcohol is in your body. There's lots of different reasons to avoid alcohol, probably just as many as there are reasons to drink alcohol. Short-term harms include things like accidents. So because alcohol affects our ability to be coordinated, it affects our reaction time and our ability to make decisions, we tend to put ourselves in situations where we can cut ourselves, we can fall down, or if we happen to be in a vehicle, we can really easily get into car crashes and things like that. If you drink too much alcohol, first and foremost, you're probably gonna start feeling pretty sick. Um, what will then happen is that you start to become less and less coordinated. You start to slur your speech and you can't walk straight. If you keep drinking at that point, what can happen is that you lose consciousness, you can go into a coma and you can stop breathing. So if you happen to have a mate who's been drinking, who's passed out, it is really, really important to lay them on their side with their mouth open and slightly facing down so that if they do vomit, their airway stays clear. If you notice that your friend is suddenly snoring really heavily or their breathing seems laboured or their breathing just sounds a little bit weird or if they stop breathing at all, call triple zero. There are also a lot of medications that can interfere with alcohol or vice versa, alcohol interferes with the medications. Um, some of these may be permanent medications that you're taking for a variety of long-term health conditions or it may be a short course of antibiotics, for example. People might choose not to drink because they're driving soon. Uh, that's a really good reason not to drink. Um, sometimes people under the age of 25 choose not to drink because their brains are still developing and they want to give their brain the best chance to do that safely. There are lots of different religions and cultures in the world where people choose not to drink and they, they may have quite strong beliefs about that. And some people just don't want to drink. Some people may not enjoy the feeling of intoxication um, or they may be trying to reduce their alcohol consumption. The single most effective way of supporting someone who's not drinking is to simply not pressure them to drink. Um, you can still include them in your events. Um, just offer them, you know, a glass of soft drink or, or juice or something like that. Um, it's okay to offer the first time, you know, would you like something to drink? And if they say no, it's no big deal. If you're concerned, um, just have a chat to your friend. Um, it's, it's perfectly okay to sit down and go like, hey, how do you feel about me having a glass of wine? It can even be, you know, at the dinner where you are. It doesn't need to be complicated. A drinking diary is a really simple tool for people to keep track of their drinking um, and it's a tool that they use to either assess whether or not there's a problem or to check in on how they're doing and you know if they're trying to reduce whether they're reaching that goal. You can also find people to talk to, now that could be family or friends, but there are also services available that can help. The best place to look for any of that stuff, whether it be fact sheets or videos or services in Tasmania that can help you, is DEN's website CODE, which stands for Community Online Drug Education. We have over 500 entries full of all kinds of things on all kinds of drugs, including alcohol. Mm -hmm.